Ladies, gentlemen, good afternoon. This is Germinal Van. Today we're going to talk about data analysis in simple linear regression. So you see a data and we're gonna get into that. But beforehand, let me tell you the fundamental principle in econometrics and statistics. You do not choose a statistical model before you've analyzed the data. You do not choose a statistical model and then based on your statistical model, you say, okay, I'm gonna pick the data. That is a fundamental mistake that every beginner does, including myself when I started uh, working in econometrics. I used to develop a statistical model. I used to choose a statistical model and then based on that model, I pick the data and then I see that <laughs> there was a huge discordance. There was, they were both antagonistic. So it is very dangerous because it will lead you to flooded conclusions. So you have to analyze the data first. Why? Because analyzing the data uh, helps you determine the shape and the trend of the data. And based on the shape and the trend of the data, you can do two things. You can first uh, formulate your hypothesis. And second, now you can determine the appropriate statistical model for uh, the statistical model to test based on the data you have. So here, since we're talking about linear regression, so I create a, hypot a hypothetical data according to linear regression because this is more like a simulation. So here we are testing uh, the impact of, um, of income on consumption. So basically we're trying to show here that uh, based on the data we, we look, we can tell already that there is a, a trend, like a linear trend. So we're trying to test consumption on uh, income on consumption based on, uh, you know, nine variables, or should I say nine observations from 2000 to 2009. So here, let's create a scatter plot. It would be easier. So income is our independent or explanatory variable. Income is the one, is the variable explaining why consumption increased. Based on the data here, we can see that the more income increases, the more consumption increases too. So here, this is our X income, and then consumption is our dependent variable, so we call it Y. Then we're going to go here, one. Okay, one is for 100, you know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, then it's our X. Then here we're going to put also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Twelve, thirteen. So here, one from one to ten, it's basically from one hundred to one k. So now we're going to create the scatter plot here. We're going to uh, uh, to uh, uh, to determine where each observation goes with one another. So for three percent. So for someone who makes $100, he basically consumes 3% of his income. So let's say for, uh, for $100 here, he has, we have three. So this is an observation. You, put, you make a dot. For 150, we have four. So 150 is here. One more here. So for... For five percent, so for two hundred and twenty, we have five. So two twenty somewhere here. All right. For seven, we have three ten. Three ten for seven. If you have to draw like this to make sure all the observation go to the intersection do it it's very important uh, 
for 370 we have 8% 370 Somewhere here for 445, we have uh 9%. So for 445, somewhere here, we have nine. You go, you go, you go here, you put it here for um 600 and Fifteen for someone makes six hundred and fifteen dollars. He consumes let's say ten percent. So six fifteen. He consumes ten percent. So we come in here. For someone who makes eight hundred and twenty-two, he consumes eleven. Eight hundred and twenty-two. We come up here come to 11 you guys can see there is a trend you see there is a trend and you can tell the shape it's pretty much continuous for someone who makes 971 12 percent 971 it's here 971 it's pretty much here and then for someone who makes a, a 1080, consume 13, so it's somewhere here, 13. So this is the scatter plot. I have to, uh, hold on one second. I'm gonna try to make that cleaner. Oh, we're getting there, guys. There we go. So this is our scatter plot. We see that all when we see all the variables, all the observations, should I say, all the observations, there is pretty much a trend the trend is continuous and what is the shape the shape is linear you can see there's a linear but why we're not putting a linear a, a line yet it's because we still have to determine the intercept and we do not know that and you see here there is a y and a uh, dash on top of the y and the same for an x and a dash on top this means the average these are the average of each variable because the average is what we're going to use in order to um, to work with our simple linear regression. So now that we know the shape of, uh, of now that we know the shape and the trend of our data, we can now confidently say that income indeed does increase uh, consumption. Sorry, does increase based on income the, the the higher income is the higher your consumption will be we can already tell but we still have to test now the empirical content by how much that's where now we're going to write this famous equation as the following i'm going to write it on the scatter plot so that you guys will better see so it's y which is our dependent variable equals beta zero plus beta one times x x is our independent variable there is something missing here and the reason why is because we have an error term that i did not add yet and i'm going to give you a little bit of history the error term uh before the error term the consumption function uh based uh, on Keynesian economics has been written as the following. Consumption equals autonomous consumption plus the, propens the marginal propensity to consume plus the times the uh, disposable income. That's the original, uh, that, that is the original 
equation but in econometrics and statistics we do add an error term because we know that our model is not perfect it might contain errors so we do add an error term here but in pure economics for someone who study macro or microeconomics there is no error term added you just use this equation but in econometrics you have to use this equation you have to add this one here the error term it is very important so ladies and gentlemen this is all for today in the next video we're going now to explore more in detail this equation y equals beta 0 which is the intercept plus beta 1 which is the coefficient times x which is the independent variable plus the error term we're going to i'm going to show you guys what or uh, what is the mathematical formula for each of these uh symbols you see here so that is all for today guys uh thank you very much and then i see you guys next week